Our cybersecurity practice is what I would call a 360 degree practice. Everything ranging from working with the board on their oversight role for risk management to working with executives to prepare for a breach so that when one happens, they can actually respond effectively and quickly to actually responding to incidents that occur. And that's probably the toughest part. It's not uncommon before a long weekend uh, for us to get a phone call from a client saying we've been hacked and our systems are locked up or data has been taken. What do we do? And, and that's where our team typically comes in, a term that we typically use in the industry is called a breach coach, it's external legal counsel, who is really coordinating uh, many of the different response elements, ranging from communications, to forensic investigation, to navigating legal requirements, both contractually with business partners, as well as laws and other regulatory requirements here in Canada, provincially and globally. Every month I spend about half my time in Montreal and get to meet clients and work with them, but also do the same thing here in Toronto and other parts of the country and globally. So that's been fantastic to be able to have that experience of civil law and common law, uh, to be able to go back to that province where I grew up and be able to meet colleagues and friends. I think I stumbled into teaching. It wasn't something I had planned. About eight years ago, I had the opportunity to teach at the University of Toronto a single course. I now teach two. And I really didn't know what to expect. What was fantastic was you had a group of students there who asked some very good, challenging, fundamental questions. And it, it forced me really to go back to the basics, to figure out why are we doing certain things and to revisit issues that we thought were established or settled in law.